में तपस्या डज रीप बेनिफिट्स नहीं सर मैंने नहीं बनाया ये मैं क्रेडिट नहीं लूँगा आपने बनाया तपस्या कैंपस है स्पेसिफिकली जहाँ पे हम खड़े हुए हैं दिस शुड बी अ वे फॉरवर्ड फॉर एनी एक्सपीरियंस If you've seen photos or footage of pink snow or red ice on glaciers, you might have wondered what's going on. That beautiful, almost surreal color is actually a natural phenomenon caused by an algae. But beneath the aesthetics lies a worrying feedback loop. This pink hue may be accelerating the glacier melt. But first, let's understand what causes the pink color. The pink or red tint on snow and the ice comes from certain cold adapted algae, specifically species like Chlamydomonas nivalis and Ancyclonema nordenskiolde. These microbes thrive in alpine and polar snow fields. Chlamydomonas nivalis, often called snow algae, produces a red pigment, a type of carotenoid that gives snow its pink or reddish shade when the algae bloom. In some glaciers, a different species, Ancyclonema nordenskiolde, has been found. This algae also turns red under sunlight and is known to darken glacier ice. These algae lie dormant under winter snow. As spring and summer arrive, meltwater and sunlight create ideal conditions for them to bloom. Once active, they produce protective pigments against UV light, but these pigments make the surface darker, which has major consequences. But why do these pink eyes make glaciers melt faster? Normally, snow and ice are very reflective, bouncing back a large portion of sunlight, a property called albedo. But when algae bloom and turn the surface pink or red, that reflectivity drops. Darker surfaces absorb more sunlight. In practical terms, this means glacier surfaces heat up more causing them to melt faster. Studies in areas like the Arctic show that algae blooms can reduce albedo significantly, leading to enhanced melt rates. Researchers also note that algal pigmentation, combined with the widening of meltwater channels, creates a positive feedback loop. More melting leads to more algae growth, leading to even more melt. In the Italian Alps, for example, scientists observe pink patches on glaciers and these darkened areas are absorbing too much solar radiation, threatening to speed up the glacier's retreat. And this isn't a local oddity. Pink snow, often called watermelon snow, appears in many high altitude and polar regions. In North America, such blooms have been documented in alpine regions and glacial snowfields. In the Arctic too, researchers have linked algae to reduce reflectivity and enhance glacier melting. In the Alps, the algae species seem to be similar to those found on Greenland's ice sheet. As global temperatures rise and melt season lengthens, conditions become more more favorable for these algae to bloom, which could make biological darkening of glaciers a more widespread concern. But why does it matter? Because at first glance, pink snow may look harmless or even pretty, but it has serious implications. Number 1. Accelerated Glacier Melt As the surface darkens, more heat is absorbed, speeding up melting and contributing to glacial retreat. Number 2. Climate Feedback Because algae thrive in meltwater, warmer summers mean more blooms, which in turn amplify melting, a feedback back loop driven by climate change. And number three, modeling gaps. Many climate models underestimate or ignore this biological darkening. Recent research suggests that albedo reduction by algae needs to be induced in projections for more accurate forecasts. Pink glow on glaciers and snowfields, known as watermelon snow, is a signal, a warning. Even tiny, microscopic organisms can influence how ice melts in a warming world. As climate change intensifies, understanding these algal blooms becomes essential. Because when the glaciers turn pink, what we're really witnessing is nature responding in its own way to a changing planet.